Hello and welcome back. So I made Constantan, an offensive chanter that uh, likes using one one-handed weapon uh, with like a heavy armor at this point and sings uh, uh, ancient memory, come, come, softens of death, maybe sure hunted Illa nuked her arrows with speed, I don't know, just pick that up just in case. We have some offensive inv invocations as well. So, we're gonna see how it works out. Uh, I'm gonna be testing it uh, uh, for the first time as well. I think it's gonna be just fine. I'm not exactly sure where are we gonna go. Because... Uh, I kinda pissed off the Valley and Trading Company. But... We still have more to explore in this uh, area. So... Valiant Trading Company headquarters. Yeah, maybe I'll go back and wipe them out completely. <laughs> Queen's Birth District Home? Maybe check it out. I want... Oi! Anyone in here? I'm coming in for an expense, uh, um, inspection, of course. What? Trap detected? Pretty good, huh? There, done. The boar bow. Is that it? Disappointing. So the door was unlocked, but he trapped his chest and locked it. But that was still pointless. But it, it looked like a nice place. So, why not lock the door? Did I tell you? You were in my dreams last night, Watcher. What? You were on your knees before my call. And I couldn't stop screaming. Uh oh, that's stealing. Um. Okay. I really appreciate that you're just sharing Shh. all your dreams with me. Keep your voices down, Michael. Hmm. Maybe one of these days it's gonna be uh, a more juicy one, who knows? It's bound to happen in time now. East exit. Luminous Adramel. We're still looking for the guy. Road north, road south. This is a quite a big place. Oh. Didn't loot a little barrel. On the outsides. Okay. I guess we'll survive. Not like any of those barrels have any key items in them. What's going on here? Uh oh. That's stealing. Quickly. I would never do such a thing. Yeah. Are you gonna be the one who steals stuff? Oh, we got caught pretty fast. Uh, sure. Leave it to me. Why not? Got it. Damn, these crates <clears throat> are so empty, Real guys. Quiet. You better watch out for thieves. Okay, that's all stealing. Milgard. But man, you gotta watch out for thieves. I'm telling you, Cortina. Cortina's voice uh, finds you before she does. Her barks of laughter and cheerful directives resounding uh, throughout the mill. She flits from worker to worker, offering critique and approval. When she finally spots you, a shadow of apprehension passes over her face. She hides it with a toothy grin. If you are here about the taxes, tell the queen. Oh, you are not the tax collector. She narrows her eyes, her hand twitching at the hilt of her blade. What business brings you to my mill? What do you do here? Cortin looks about the room with exaggerated wonder, her green eyes wide. 
She laughs a little to herself and runs a finger across the arm of the chair beside her. She holds the finger up for, inspec for your inspection. It's caked in shimmering blue dust. We mill luminous, of course. Of course. Take big chunks, break into smaller chunks, crush into dust-sized chunks. Why? Per complanquenet, it is really not so complicated. She gives you a condescending little pat on the arm. Who are you? Okay. Cortina leans in close, one prodigiously fury, uh, uh, furry eye eyebrow raised. You go around asking just anyone in Queen's birth personal questions, maybe you end up dead in a ditch. Have caution, eh? I literally asked for your name. Is that a really a personal question? Lucky for you, I am a woman of honor. She gives you a sunny smiling. Claps her hands together. I direct luminous milling for the Valian Trading Company. It's a nice job, huh? And I'm quite good at it. You want to know more? Buy me a drink first, per guano. Cortina claps you on the shoulder, a playful smile on her lips. Alright team, we got a plan. I'm gonna seduce this Cortina. Then we gotta take over this Luminous uh, Adra operation. Elta shows up. But... Well, that's that's all I got for now. We gotta work on the rest. Good day. But yeah, we got a, a trap for Yotas already. Queen's birth, that's rooftop balcony? What? Damn. We need to work on the plan. How do we get Yotas? I'm thinking we need we get a lot of luminous Adra. We put it in a big hole, he falls in, we I laugh at him, done. Weeks. Oh, think I was born blue, eh? Think being this pretty come natural? Well, dang, Seraphim. I never knew you were so fancy. Yeah, but mayhaps I'll be giving them murk berries a go. I ain't never been marooned before. Sure. That dog? Abraham, what? What the hell is this? Oh yeah, we had plus damage from area effect attacks, grants pet party wide effects, perception, reduces recovery penalty for armor, varies by armor type. <laughs> okay, let's go with Abraham, because we do use uh, armor at this point. Hey doggy, uh, let's go. Is it this it? Sounds a mob podium. Okay, we might need to check that out. So this place is uh, deceptively big, but we can basically not uh, check out anything here. I'm pretty sure that you this is gonna just lead to the exit. So yeah, but. This place does exist, so it's probably gonna be relevant later. Uh, perhaps after we've <coughs> uh, we've spoken to the queen. Queen is holding court today with the Valians and Rawatians. How long before they're killing each other? Wager on it. Wager, how long till they kill each other? Oh man, I want to be in on that one. So. I looted every, or well, at least like explored everything. Shipwright kind of needs. Maybe we should talk to the shipwright. But let's talk. Let's go into the Sansa Mop Podium. Maybe we can actually uh, check out some maps. We don't have to explore. We can only. We're only gonna go to places we already know uh, that it's there. More than my eyes, be it. Caleb. Come on, doggy. You're gonna tell More me if I'm gonna eyes, steal? Alright, Sansa. Oh, hello. Welcome to my shop. It's such a pleasure to see a new face. Sansa bounces back on his heels, a wide grin plastered on his worn face. How might I assist you? Show me what you have for sale. Certainly, certainly. It would be my pleasure. Of course, it's mostly books and knickknacks. Maps I do on commission, you see. Adventurous Grimoire. Okay. 
I, I think I have that already. Snakeskin Grimoire. Okay. Spyglass, yeah. It couldn't... Yeah, it, it did come up. And that we don't have one. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just bail for now. Not relevant right now. I suppose he's selling an extra wizardy book that I don't care about at this moment. You'd be better off mooning after someone with half a foot between her ears, lass. You can't dictate what the heart wants, Seraphin. Thought you of all people would know that. Well, the art can be a right stupid git sometimes. They don't always deserve your listening. Hmm. Yeah, we need to find the guy. Bardato Estate. Sure, let's check it out. I kinda like Seraphim. Yeah, I like my whole team. Except maybe the new guy. Maybe he's gonna get kicked. <laughs> I mean, he's just gonna stay back home on the ship. Uh, come on, come with us on the adventure. And that's about it. <clears throat> Welcome to the Bardato Estate. You can find Azali in her study. Bardato Fencer. Servant. I can just take that. These guys don't give a damn. Huh. Alright, I'm looting the places. Oh, what? Ah, yes. The newcomer. I thought you might visit. Well, I don't know if you call this a wizard. Just no sweat. coming unannounced. Just popping by. Nerbardato. The Lord's foot and an heavy book. I hear you. You're gonna be the one to steal. Uh oh. No, maybe not. You wanna steal? Oh, come on. Take off. Stealing! So what? I got a fancy pistol now? Wait, what? No, no, no. Fine pistol. Take it out. Actually, I know exactly who would like a fine pistol. It's Seraphim. Anyhow, Nero Bardato. I just hope Laro doesn't bring ridicule to the Bardato name. Laro? Are you Laro? No. I can't. What's there over there? Loot the chest. Izali? Lady Izali Bardato. Custom dictates, I say, at your service. But I have not the time for such lies. Aww. She regards you with a cool expression, but stands with a fighter's pose. If you have business with House Bardato, then speak on. Azali opens her palms and waits. I not I notice something unusual? Your attention is drawn to Izali's desk. Among the assorted ledgers and documents, it's a brass seal, still dripping with heated wax. The drippings have dried into an almond-shaped pattern which resembles the shape of an eye. An eye fringed with bird feathers. A nictitating membrane flicks across its surface in a barely perceptible wink. Are you still with me? Azali breaks your focus by waving her hand in front of your face. She glances between you and her tidy desk, frowning. Your desk, the eye. She glances back at her desk again, this time with impatience. I'd venture that you're working too hard. 
Your family seems very well established here. Ugh. My bank shoulders the costs of the Valian Trading Company's operations in the Deadfire. Is that so? It is said that no Valian may wipe themselves unless a Bardato's signature approves it first. That's just fucked up. Well, if that's true, we gotta stop shaking hands with them. <laughs> I'm certain you've touched worse, farmhand. Zali's mouth twitches, just shy of a smirk. Okay, let's kill them all. Are <laughs> that two volts? Oh boy, they must have a lot of money. Why do I think that a lot? Would be relevant for this uh, part of the. Rest and wait. How do I open the thingy up? Party manager. Oh crap. We can't do it. The guard captain takes his time moving uh, to the bare door, uh, his armor creaking with every step. He appraises you with a lazy sweep of the eyes while his fingers curl. Casually about the hilt of his blade. Welcome to the Bardato Vault. You have an appointment, madam. A vault? What's in here? Yeah, I'm working for Azali. Then you are welcome. After she sends a messenger to vouch for you. The captain makes a herding motion with his arms as he shepherds you toward the stairs. Hey, that was just an innocent lie. I wanna kill them. <laughs> Captain Vilami. Must be sailing on your ship to recruit or dismiss party members. Oi! This area is off limits. Return the. Are, are you gonna thief attack me? Thief in the vault. I'm not a thief, I'm just exploring. Yeah. He does have a DI on. Captain Vilami. Maybe I'm just gonna kill them and they will never know. Charmed. What are you doing? That's insane! What the fuck are you doing? Seriously? Fireball? Also, don't do that. It doesn't help us. Oh, nice. Wait, what? Oh, he's back. And, uh, watch your order wasted all her abilities. What the hell are you doing? Let's go. Yeah, charm is fine. Wait, what kind of weapon? She's using the great sword. Insane. Did he get pulled in? I really hope so. Else he's just very dumb. Everything hurts. 
Okay, let's do a heal. We have to. Wait, where are you? After him. See Okay, let's run inside. Let's go. Bartato Habaldir. Great. These guys suck. Bet the farmer be right happy to Oh no! I regret everything I've done. Put it back. One handed saber. No, oh, these are just regular stuff. Complete garbage. Put in the stash. Whew. Whatever you need. Yeah, stash. Leave it to me. Captain of the Guard has nothing as well. That's disappointing. There are a few recent guests logged in this ledger. Of course. Should I log myself in? After us. <laughs> what? What was that? Does it really matter that we confused him? Not really. Don't do a chill fog. Yeah. Now you be right screwed. Smart, eh? Good, huh? There, done. Well, that's disappointing. This chest's identifying plaque is blank, suggesting it is empty. The contents of this chest belong to a handful of local valley and families identified on a plaque. No sweat. Got it. Leave it to me. I'm pretty good, huh? There. Done. Why not? Well, that's pretty disappointing. Azali's ledger. This ledger is a record of luminous Agra shipments back to Valley and Republics. Uh, yeah. My lady, this trend cannot have escaped your notice. Our superiors grow agitated by the volume of products that end up in Principi Holds. There are too many pirates and too many dissatisfied captains to send out volleys of lighter cargo as you suggested. Your orders on how to proceed. I have also made note of several inconsistencies, areas where my predecessor uh, skewed the map to be benefit an outside party. Pages <clears throat> are also missing, which leads me to believe you have been robbed. So, looks like she's... Secretly helping the eye. No sweat. Got it. Yep. There. Done. I'm pretty good, huh? Locked? No sweat. Mechanics too low? Watcher's mechanic, five, party assist two. We don't have enough mechanics. I'm pretty good. No! We need to come back later with more mechanic skills. Well, that's disappointing. Do you guys have the key? They don't, they don't care. Hey, do you have the key for the vault? I just hope Laro doesn't bring ridicule to the bad data name. I'm not sure what you were thinking, but a word of advice? When you betray a powerful woman, it's best not to come back and gloat about it. Zali draws her weapon and advances. 
Uh, let's just do a quick heal. Okay, I'm not the one who died. So far, that's about to change. Very quickly. What the hell? How could you not go there? Can you make it happen? Okay, she's not dead. Mirror Bartato. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Can I just go back? You really shouldn't be the one who tanks. What? Oh boy, what was that? How about here? Okay, looks good. Watcher is almost back. in the wound, task failed. Maybe a task we, we didn't even have. Okay, more charming. And there is, uh, doing fine. Puppet master. <laughs> Quest failed. Okay. Looks like apparently we may have failed two quests that we didn't even get. Oh boy. Let's heal up. Not sure how I feel about this. Leave it to me. Okay. Potion of the attuned self. So she didn't have the key. Conduit. Receiving shock damage grants the very attacks additional shock damage for a brief time. So it's a head. Fine stiletto. Beltro's cage. Exceptional heavy armor. All electricity power levels. That's unusual. One-handed, very special mace. Grants nobility. Okay, so... He likes using one-handed weapons. Bardato's luxury certainly fits the bill. Daltro's cage, heavy armor. Electricity power levels. Okay. Sure. That looks fine. 
Hey, that's not bad. After Brought that to hiring. It's me too, man. So, we can sing some songs, and he's gonna do exactly that, apparently. Yeah, I went with the paralyzation. Not sure why I wanted to kill these guys. Perhaps controversial. Oh, how about do this back? So he does have an injury of perception and shock armor rating. That doesn't matter. So did we manage to piss off everybody in town? Hopefully not. Because that would be a bummer. I suppose I'm living up my uh, desire to kill some smug rich people. I don't know. I feel like Robin Hood, okay? It's a bank heist, plus these guys are related to the eye. Watcher. What what? Have you heard about the commotion at the palace? Of course. Something about Luminous Adra. A yeah. giant made of Luminous Adra. Sure. All I know is that they're all at each other's throats up there. So, someone's coming? Whoa! Against the backdrop of jeering youths, a young woman raises her arms with an air of practiced drama. Before her, two men stand across from each other, mirroring scowls. You both attest that you have made all possible efforts to come to a peaceful... The woman trails off as you approach, and you find yourself the sudden target of the crowd's attention. Who is this Nasenale? How many cousins do you have or so? Bardato? <laughs> um, um... Damn, I got quite the news for you. Postenago. Does that look like any cousin of mine? How should I know? Your kin lie with eels. Orso glares at Laro and bites back whatever insult he had at the ready. We have business. What do you want? Uh, to know what you guys are doing here, for starters. This doesn't concern you. We've come to settle a challenge. Before he can finish, Laro quickly speaks up. What's your words of? You want the Juana to know we're dueling? My bad so to the tribals. We should be free to settle matters on valiant terms. Orzo glances in your direction with annoyance. I suppose you have a good reason for this duel? This street thug called my family a warren of corrupt inbreds. <laughs> is there a dung heap in all the world that does not have a little Valera cousin scratching through it? Corrupt inbreds? Huh. Well, I don't know. I just spoke with them very briefly and I had to unresistible urge to murder every single one of them so maybe I have to stick with that guy Lara opens his arms wide and smiles to the milling crowd that wolf he calls mother would have us live out our days polishing Bardato silver you don't have to worry about that Shut up and shake hands before I hurl you both over the wa this waterfall. Ten copper pieces on Orso. <laughs> what? This is an honorable duel. 
not some pit fight. <laughs> Great. In spite of Lara's protest, the Valera second accepts your bet with a wink. <laughs> Finoma, I am ready to cross swords if you are Laro. Gelarde, shall we resume? What? No, 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 I want to kill the, the guy. <clears throat> the duelists square off and tentatively circle each other. Stoki also moves with heavy strides while Laro takes precise measured steps. Onlookers gather and press at the edges of the poorly defined arena. Their jeering lowers the expectant mutters. The duelist's second brings forth their weapons. Find a better vantage point to observe the fight? Let's do that. Uh, what? Watch your only check. God damn it. Take the opportunity to study each of the opponents. You note that the sweat on Laro's upper lip and the furrow of concentration cleaving Orso's brow. Watch quietly for now. Once the swords are delivered to their respective bearers, the seconds back away in melancholy silence. The duelists cross their swords and bow in salute. The tranquil moments end with a burst of motion. Despite their difference in size, the duelists seem evenly matched. Orso doesn't settle on an established form, but he keeps pace with Laro's aggressive strikes. Distract Laro with an insult. <laughs> you call out some cutting words to Laro, which involve his father and a butter churn. <laughs> he turns to the crowd wearing a shocked expression, or so takes the opponent and advances menacingly. Edda nods in agreement, hands on his hips, seraphim grins. Laro uh, scrambles to recover, uh, but Orzo uh, claims his advantage, smacking the sword out of Laro's hand. It falls to the ground with a loud clang. Without hesitation or an offering to yield, Oro runs his blade through Laro's heart. A collective gasp rises from the audience as Laro sinks to the ground. Damn. That's awkward. Or laughing anymore, are you, Laro? Well, <laughs> damn, killing the killing Laro in cold blood. How could you? Orso looks down at his bloody work. An uncertain expression cr crosses his face. These things do usually end with someone dying. It gets easier after the first time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I surely know I killed a lot of them. I, I I don't think it was particularly hard for him. He's like, HELL YEAH! <laughs> um... Say nothing. What's done, is done. I will take shelter in the estate until this calms down. I tell you, my father may wish to meet you. We'll need friends to weather this feud. Do you? The, the entire Badalo uh, manor is empty. Get this woman her gambling wings. What? He nods and some of them tosses you a pouch? 100 copper? Holy crap, I only bet 10 copper. You guys are stupid or what? Were the odds so bad against you? 10 to 1? Wow. That's insane. What's there over there? Huh. We might have to go and uh, talk to the guy. Oh yeah, Bardato. Valera estate. Sure. I have little patience for self-important jerks who, uh... Who make it their life business to... 
to, I guess, uh, uh, screw over others. <laughs> anyway, Valerian State, Back Alley, Dockside Arms and Armor. Okay, I guess we gotta go into the Valeria Estate, but not right now. So, thanks for watching guys, and see you next time!